I often get referred patients for an exploratory laparotomy that had a previous surgery done by a primary care vet who got into surgery and found something that they couldn't handle. Now, the first thing that I notice often with these patients is that the incision is way too small. In fact, it's so small that I would struggle even to do um, a spay. Or... So that brings me to the question, how can you improve your exposure and therefore your results in patients having an exploratory laparotomy? The first thing you need to do is to make your incision big enough. Your incision should run all the way up to the xiphoid process and at least halfway between the umbilicus and the pubis. The second thing that you want to do is remove falciform fat because the falciform fat often gets in the way when you're trying to do your exploratory. The third thing that you want to do is um, use Balfour retractors. Now, Balfour retractors are not very expensive. Um, you can get them on eBay for a couple of hundred dollars and they're going to massively improve your exposure um, during an exploratory laparotomy. The fourth thing that you want to do is you want to make sure that you do a systematic exploration of the entire abdomen, starting from the liver, working your way through the gastrointestinal tract, and then uh, elevating the duodenum to look down in the right abdominal fur furrow, and then use your mesocolon to look down the left uh, abdominal furrow. And then finally, uh, what you want to do is biopsy anything that you find abnormal. So as long as it's not an emergency situation where you need to get the patient to uh, a surgeon straight away, take the time to biopsy any lesions that you see, because what you want to do is avoid the peak and shriek, where you just find something um, th uh, that's really big and ugly and then just yell out a little squeak and close the abdomen um, and send it on its way. Uh, and what that'll do is that you might be able to avoid a second procedure if you find out on the biopsy that it's not amenable to surgery. And so in summary, what you want to do is number one, make your incision big enough so that you can do a complete abdominal exploratory. Number two, remove falciform fat. Number three, use Balfour retractors. Number four, do a systematic evaluation of the entire abdomen. And number five, make sure that you biopsy anything that's abnormal. Now, we've created a little quiz on abdominal exploratory. Um, and through our e-learning platform, which is www.vetdojo.com. And by taking this quiz, if you have the most correct answers, you have a chance to win any one, your choice of uh, any of our e-learning modules. And that's a value of up to $169 uh, US. And uh, if there are multiple people that have uh, the, the same number of correct answers, then we'll pick one at random from that group. So if you're interested in taking our quiz, uh, just click on the link in the description of the video below and recognize that it is a pretty tricky quiz. And so you want to read the questions really carefully. Thanks for watching and um, hope that gives you some insight on getting a better result out of your abdominal exploratory surgeries.